Okay, so we're talking today about lazy American speech. And you might think, Ryan, I have career goals. Why do I need this lazy American speech? But I'd like to remind you that even professionals use lazy American speech. And also, you might want to make friends in English as well. I'm teacher Ryan, and I have been teaching students from over 25 countries for a lot of years. So today we're going to talk about pronouns. Pronouns are so common in English that it actually makes a lot of sense that we would shorten them. And today we're looking at he, his, her, him, them. Why did I pick these pronouns? Because they are the ones that are the most likely to be shortened in English. So first one, practice with me. Is he coming? Is and he are going to combine to is he. Even when the pronoun is at the beginning of the sentence, like he's over there, the he sound can sound more like an e. He's over there. So you're not going to get all that air moving up from your lungs like a ha huh, ha huh, to make that H sound. So what about his? His dog is so pretty. But if I'm speaking lazy American English, I'll say his dog is so pretty. So how do I know it's not the verb is if I delete the H? Because the grammar structure is not lazy, just the pronunciation. So we can guess what word we're saying by the grammar structure in the sentence. Now let's look at him. Him is an object pronoun, which means 99% of the time it's in the middle or the end of the sentence and almost never in the beginning. So I can say, did you see him? And the did you becomes did ya, did ya, did ya see him? Did you see him? And the only clear word in the whole question is see. But it's also the most important word because maybe I'm pointing. <gasps> Did you see him? Where's her car? Okay, let's slow that down. Where's her car? Now, when I say the H in English, I'm pushing the air up from my lungs. And we can use the sticky note test. This is a sticky note. Now, if I say each word equally, you will see the sticky note move. Where's her, her, her car? Oh, car. But when I'm speaking lazy English, where's our car? The sticky note does not move. That's because I'm not pushing air out when I'm saying the H because I'm deleting the H. Where's her car? Where's her car? Okay, now the last one, them. Maybe I'm telling my friend to get the drinks over there. So I point and I say, can you get them? I'm not going to say, can you get them? I'm going to shorten and reduce. Can you to Kenya get, get them? Can you get them? And we're basically going to delete the TH sound. But Americans truly speak lazy pronunciation all the time. And this is one of the best ways that you can practice to understand native speakers. And if you just want a lot of ways, an overview of the ways that we have lazy English pronunciation, you can watch this video here and it's gonna go through all the main ways that Americans speak lazy English. Cool, check it out.